Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Philadelphia Phillies going up against the Chicago White Sox. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Yeah, we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two, and regardless of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about to get started, getting the nod on the mound, Lucas Giolito. Well, last time out, picked up the win, didn't allow a run, pitched extremely well. It doesn't have to be perfect, but if he can give another performance like last time out, his team will be happy. And here is Trey Turner. And a pitch. And that is in for a strike. And this one is off and running. The 0-1. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Let's go, Chicago! That one off the mark, and that is ball one. Swings and misses, struck him out. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner yeah. potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Nice grab on the run. Two away down. And time now for the Phillies lineup. And a big factor for them in recent games, Alec Bohm. Well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position. Are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close late game situation with runners in scoring position and just see, is he truly a machine or not? Brandon Jordan, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Next offering is down low. Kicks and deals. That's ripped. Base hit. Around first, heading for two. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Just a really nice job of turning on that pitch and smoking it down the line. And there's no one playing there, so once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases. Here's Harper now. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. They're all a really good chance right here to pick up a run in the top of the first after what seemed to be a, a real quiet start to the inning. Yeah, now the 01. Line and a base hit into right. The throw in. It's offline. The run comes in, and it's 1-0. Sheesh, Singy, that was a laser shot. And a good thing we have StatCast to give us the details. Yeah, get out of the way on that one. That ball flew out of the box at 112 miles per hour. You talk about generating a ton of power in that swing. He did it with quick hands, good lower half, and just unloaded on that ball. Garrett Stubbs stands in with two away as he takes a ball. 
This guy, one of the best contact men in the sport as well. Outstanding on the defensive end. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Garcia makes the play, and the inning is over. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 1-0. You're watching Phillies baseball on the show Northeast. Back at Guaranteed Rate Field. And today's starter, Taiwan Walker. What do we need to know here? Yeah, very respectable numbers last year. A sub-350 ERA. And, you know, guys like that, you may think, well, they're elite pitchers that are pitching sub-2s. They're dominating. But when you can have that kind of consistency, you know you have a chance to win the ball game every time he takes the mound. So Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. And he beats it. He's safe. Andrew Benatendi steps up. In there for strike one. Benatendi, the former first round pick, Golden Spikes Award winner. Next offering is in for a strike. Singing some numbers fun with Taiwan Walker, originally drafted by the Mariners. His number was 44. Quickly to second for one. On to Hoskins. Double play. Aloy Jimenez now. Three hits last night, so he was a big factor in getting that win. And first offering is fouled off. Out to short, Turner. That's the third out. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. We head to the second on the south side. It's the Phillies one, and the White Sox nothing. Welcome back, top of the second, and now it is JT Real Muto. The wind of the pitch. Giolito, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a change-up, a slider, and he occasionally uses a curve. Popped up. Anderson pulls it down. One up, one down. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Three for nine of the series coming in. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. You know, we talk so much about how guys prepare for a start. For Giolito, one of the things that's really cool, he actually uses scouting reports and then plays MLB the show to execute how he's going to go about attacking hitters. Next pitch misses, and the count is one and two. So the night before his start, he effectively goes over the lineup he anticipates he's going to face and plays the game. So he goes through an entire opposing lineup on MLB The Show, utilizing his own scouting report the team provided. Fights it off, he'll see another. For Giolito, it actually is an idea that kind of came together with his buddy Max Breed. They played together in high school in Los Angeles, and they're not sure who started at first, but in 2019, they each began to go over scouting reports using MLB to show. And a pitch. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. And there's ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Runner on at first with one gone. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Let's get the easy two now. Let's go. 
Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 oh, now. Time to check in our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well-liked umpire, Boo. Pretty consistent with his zone, so if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. So now one and two to Reese. Bounce to the left side, and he picks it up in foul territory. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see these guys a lot. Yeah, Boog, these guys are all out there trying to do their best and perform at a high level. So when you respect that, I think over time, you can develop a relationship with some of these guys. And Ben Intendi able to make the grab. Two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Josh Harrison in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Castellanos off of first with two away. Here's a 1 1. Fouled off. He was late. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. Castellanos on his way to the plate. He'll score easily, and they take a two-run lead. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. Here's Trey Turner. He's 0 for 1. Ball 1, wow. no strikes. Turner had a really good college career at NC State. He went to the 2013 College World Series and led all of college baseball with 55 stolen bases that season. Pretty incredible. The 1-0. Runner at second, no two down. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Right past his coach, headed for the plate. Throw is offline, and he scores. And they're up by three. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Now it's Alec Bohm. He's over one. They say it went. Going one. You won. In the air, out towards left center. Snags it on the run. And that'll do it. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Phillies three and the White Sox nothing. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Sox, Gavin Sheets. And fouled off. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Check swing, well, no it. appeal, and one and one. Singy Taiwan Walker originally drafted in the first round by the Mariners back in 2010, and a guy who's put together a very solid career. He was an all-star with the Mets in 2021. And out number one on the grab. Batting fifth. So digging in, Sebi Zavala, one of the stars in the win yesterday, as he had three hits. And that's in there for strike one. Walker, 
he has a reputation, I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. That one ripped, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. Not in time. He's safe. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Yoan Moncada, batting with one down, takes a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's earned a longer leash, and because of that, confidence grows with the players and teammates playing behind him that when things get a little rough out there, they know he'll find his way through it. The pitch. And down on strikes he goes. Now two away. Well, he really filled up the strike zone and that at bat until that final pitch. And as a hitter, you sense that they're coming after you, not dancing That's around the, the strike zone. They want to attack. And so you kind of get in the swing mode and you have to protect the plate. That's when you become really susceptible to something that makes you chase. And that's exactly what happened right there. The 1-1. One -one. Late that time and it's strike two. How much of the ability to do that in a tight spot is the mental approach? I think it's very much being able to have a laser-like focus, slow everything down, stay right in that moment, pitch to pitch, execution, and focusing on that catcher's mitt. Runner leads away at second. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. Next offering is foul bat. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next pitch ball. misses outside. Two balls, two strikes. and he hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, he's just glad that he got hit with an off-speed pitch there instead of a fastball. Man, that would have hurt a lot more if it had velocity. Turner. Fires across the diamond. Third out. White Sox strand a couple. They trail in this one, 3-0. Back here at the ballpark, new yeah, inning getting started. And now for the Phillies, Brandon Jordan. Jordan. Giolito back to work. Swings and misses and one down oh, below no. the zone. Fooled on that pitch, got a little anxious. On the ground. Moncada, jump throw. And a quick out number one. The white two my goodness, Chris, he had to generate a ton of power in that jump throw for the out. Let's take another look and dive into the numbers from StatCast. Man, that's an impressive throw right there. In the air, all the way from third base. You've got to have a powerful arm to play third base, but he just showed he's got more than enough. He's got a cannon. Bryce Harper to the plate. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. Bryce Harper goes deep, and they add to their lead. It's 4-0. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. So one out, nobody on. Garrett Stubbs now at the plate. That 
That's hard hit in the line. Base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. He obviously put a very nice swing on that pitch and really drove it towards the gap, but I'm pretty surprised he only ended up on first right there. And it's kind of hard to say if there was some hesitation or if they just decided to play it safe. JT Real Muto steps in. Tap softly third base side, a swinging bunt. Okada over to second, double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 4-0 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. And welcome back. And here is Leori Garcia. And here it comes. Bunting for a hit, he pops it up. Boom. Makes the grab on the run. Here's Tim Anderson. Anderson. And a swing to miss. Anderson playing up the middle at short, hitting leadoff in today's game. And he was selected to the All-Star game last year. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And intending to the plate. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Anderson leads off first with one away. There's a strike. Swing and a ball popped up. Turner should have it. And there are two down. Man at first. Here's Aloy Jimenez. 0 for 1 so far. On the ground to the left. Over to Harrison. And that is the inning. The White Sox leave 1. They're down 4 nothing. Back here on the south side. And yeah, the batter now, Nick Castellanos. The wind of the pitch. Out to center. And there's one away. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Swing and a foul straight back. Kicks and fires. Hoskins pushes it foul. Next pitch misses way outside. Good eye right there. Fastball almost got him there. Straightened him up a little bit. Three, two. And down on strikes. And now two gone. Well, he throws him with the changeup right there, and I think he was so geared up for fastball. Once he recognized that it was off speed, he just wasn't able to make an adjustment. So a really good strikeout, and pitcher just won the battle. And there's a foul ball.
Next offering misses, and now it's even one and one. In the air to left, down the line. And Benintendi able to make the grab, and that's the inning. Phillies down in order. They lead 4-0. Here on the south side, bottom of the inning. And now here is Gavin Sheets. On the ground right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Sebi Zavala steps to the plate for the White Sox. Doubled his first time up. There's a strike. And that one is lifted in the air. It falls in, and that's a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Here is Moncada. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That one missing That's inside. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. 2 0. That's a strike. Out there to center. Makes the grab, and there's two away. Now batting. The first baseman. And now up to the plate, Yasmani Grandal. In there, and it's 0-1. Zavala leads off first with two down to the inning. And takes low for ball one. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Here's a 1-2. Time called during the pitch. And it looks like a balk has been called here. No, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. The one-two. Ah, no pitch signal now. And a balk is being called. Rudder at third. Two away. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll end the inning. So a man left for the White Sox. They trail it here for nothing. Back at guaranteed rate field. Ready now for the fifth inning. And digging in for Philadelphia. Trey Turner. Swings and misses. And that is strike one. Chris Trey Turner's turned into one of the best all-around players in the game. You think speed with Trey Turner, but a guy who impacts the game with his slug as well. And a pitch. That's a slider for a strike. Yeah, he's a, kind of a thin, wiry guy, but packs some punch with the bat. But I got to say, the speed does jump out, and it's on both sides of the ball where he can change no, the game. Good eye right there. That misses, and the count is two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. In the air, left field. And Benintendi able to make the grab, and there's one away. Good pitch, he just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Alec Bohm. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Two down. 
So up next, Brandon Jordan. This guy has turned into a beast. Ground ball right side, and that's just foul. Next pitch is inside, and it's one and one. Foul ball there. The wind and the pitch. That's the ball. Swings and misses. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Down quickly go the Phillies, but they're in front for nothing. Welcome back. Here's the second baseman, Brian Ramos. The second baseman. The pitch. Swing and a miss as he was oh out front. You know, these White Sox need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. The and there's one down. Leori Garcia Leori. up to the plate. Garcia. That one's in there, 0-1. One. One. And he hits a ground ball, right side. Tosses to first. Old man for the fifth inning. Moving along. Now Two quick outs. And the batter will be the shortstop. Tim Anderson. And there's the strike. A moment everyone thinks of with Tim Anderson is the walk-off homer he hit in the inaugural Field of Dreams game in 2021. That felt like a movie. Yeah. Well, got to pause on that thought as that'll do it for the inning. New pitcher for the White Sox, Davis Martin. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. And now, here is Harper. Swings through that one for strike one. Martin measures six feet, two inches. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he occasionally uses a curve. The 1-1. One, one. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. And that one is out of here. His second home run of the game. And they add a run. It's 5 zip. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Working with this kind of velocity so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. And now for the Phillies, Garrett Stubbs. One for two. And first offering is fouled off. Stubbs measures 5 feet 10 inches, 29 years old, and he was drafted in the eighth round back in 2015. Next offering is in for a strike. Ball one there. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Line drive, and there's a hit. 
Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. And Benintendi able to make the grab. And Real Muto is out. And there's one down. Man at first. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Castellanos. There's a strike. Castellanos, oh and one. a member of the 1,000 hit club, and he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. And that's a strike. You know, Boo, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position. And if you're playing in Oakland, man, it's a country mile to get out there. So for him to be able to be the DH today, that is really a nice day off. Over to Anderson. Throw to first. No. Safe. He's in there. And now the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins. First offering, misses the mark. Castellanos, the runner at first with two gone. And a foul ball. Next pitch oh, inside. And yeah, that's ball two. And a foul ball. And he deals. Fouled off the plate. They'll do it again. A defensive swing right there. Some cheese on the inside part of the plate. But the hands are still stinging after that one. Struck him out looking. The Phillies add another on this solo homer. And the lead is now 5-0. You're dialed into the show. And welcome back. Bottom of the six. That attendee to start it. The Red Sox made Andrew Benintendi the seventh overall pick in 2015 and remember he won the golden spikes award for the top college player that year at the university of arkansas he had two guys in his conference that were drafted ahead of him alex bregman who went second overall from lsu dansby swanson who went first overall out of vanderbilt Jimenez, the no, next to hit, guy. takes ball one. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Next one no, no, in the out. dirt. Two and one now. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through ball, the middle up. of the field. Sheets in the box now as he leaves that one up high. On the ground. And foul ball. And a 1-1. One -one. Foul ball. And now it's one and two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. And a one-two again. I think we may have a balk here. And yes, we do. Got it by him for the K. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable yeah, location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Zavala stands in now and watches strike one. That one fouled off. Battling here as he fouls it away. The 0-2. Smash to the left side. Gets him easily, ends the inning. The White Sox leave one. Still looking at that 5-0 deficit. 
All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, Josh Harrison. The right-hander back to work. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Benintendi makes the grab, one down. Trey Turner at the plate. And a base hit into right center field. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. The center fielder is Brandon, Brandon Jordan stands in for the Phillies. One for three. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And the righty deals. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Garcia grabs it on the run. Here's Bryce Harper looking for his third home run of the game. Yeah, he blasted his second of the game in the sixth inning. This guy looks like he's playing on beginner mode in this one. Beginner mode is where it's at, Chris. That hits the dirt. Ball one. One on count. Look for him to be aggressive here. You got some runners on base, an opportunity to catch a mistake and put some runs up on the board. That one is absolutely belted. And it's off the wall, but foul. Here comes a pinch. That's inside. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Yeah, the 2 1 hammered, but foul. Turner, the lead runner out at second. Boom. At first, two out of the inning. Left field, way back there. Benintendi going back on it. Out of here! Bryce Harper blasts one out the opposite way. That's his third home run of the game. And they tack on three. It's 8-0. putting on quite the show with the dish here in this one and he's just so locked in with this swing and he's just not missing right now three homer game man it's so special and i tell you what it's a lot of fun watching him pull it off as well white Sox going with a new arm ronaldo lopez and with the big deficit on the scoreboard he almost has to just put that out of his mind every outing matters for relievers and their numbers but i think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game and first offering is fouled off. At the belt and fires. And a foul ball. Gonna count one and two. That one missed. Bounce to the right side. In time to grand off. And that is the third out of the inning. Bryce Harper brings the power for Philly. It's now an eight nothing game. It's Major League Baseball and it's on the show.
bottom of the seventh. Here is Johan Moncada. And the pitch. And ball one. One oh. And the right hander deals. And that one fouled off. And right back to the mound. To first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seven. Off speed pitch, and it looked like he just continued his momentum towards home plate after releasing that. Perfect position to make a play and help himself out. And puts the squeeze on that. Two up, two down. Two outs, space is empty. And up next for Chicago, Brian Ramos. And first offering is fouled off. Hit weakly on the ground. Boom. Tosses to first. And the White Sox go quietly. One, two, three, go the White Sox. And they're on the... Ready to begin the eighth. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. The pitch. Fought off foul. Bounce to third. Moncada. Zips it across, first out in the top of the eighth. Deceptive slider right the there, bat, stayed in the tunnel eight. a long time, got that hitter out front, rolled over it, put it on yeah. the ground. And I'll next is the designated hitter, Nick Castellanos. Hammers that one, deep left field, and forget it. Nick Castellanos goes deep. Third home run of the season, and they tack on to their lead. It's 9-0. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Well, I'm not really sure how he kept that fair. When you're out in front on a breaking ball like that, such a good chance that it's going to hook foul, but not this time. He kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul pole. Base is empty, one away. And here's the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. Hoskins pushes it foul. One down, base is empty. And that one fouled off. Started to go after it. Now a look down to first, and he held up. Goes down looking. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days, but when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Harrison, now in the box, ball, comes up empty with a swing there. And that clips the inside corner. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game, looking at the pitching matchup, where you expected offense to score, and not as lopsided. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. The Phillies get one by way of the long ball. It's now 9-0.
Back here on the south side. Leading Got a batter up. now. Leori Garcia. And a pitch. Garcia. And that one wrapped foul. Liner snaked it first. Now batting. Shortstop. Tim Anderson. Here's the shortstop at the plate. Tim Anderson. Ball one, wow. no strikes. Popped up. Drops into the glove, two away. The left fielder, number 23. Andrew. Now it's Andrew Benintendi ben to hit. And a good fastball to start him off. Going That's one. strike one. And fouled off. Ah! Got him looking for the K. Down in order go the White Sox. And they're down 9 nothing. Back at guaranteed rate field. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's Turner now. Lopez back to work. Line drive, base hit. Now batter, the third baseman. Alec, Alec Bohm stands oh. in for the Phillies. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. And first offering is fouled off. Lopez, 29 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Righty to the plate. Way out front for strike two. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Vladi, Big Poppy, Pedro, the list goes on and on. Righty delivers. And that's down and away. Turner aboard here at first with nobody out. On the ground, right side, over to Anderson. Back to first, but not in time. Now at the plate, Brandon Jordan. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Foul ball there. Ball on a strike, and there's a foul ball. A little early on that fastball, I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. And now oh. it's even up. And now the count filled up three and two. Liner caught it second. And now the right fielder, Bryce Harper. And a chance to make some history here, Chris. Yeah, he's homer three times so far, and now he gets another chance, at least we think. We'll see if the pitcher gives him anything to hit. It's so rare to see a three-homer performance, but even more special for that player to get another chance at the plate to do it again for four. That one ripped. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. And into second easily with a two-out double. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Textbook defensive execution right there. Outfielder hits the cutoff man. Relay throw to the plate. A perfect strike and a great way to end the inning.
back here at the ballpark. Now it's the DH, Aloy Jimenez. He swings and fouls one off. The pitch. And there's one down. Now here's the cleanup hitter for the White Sox, Gavin Sheets. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Two balls, no strikes to count. Left-hand hitter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Stubbs under it. Makes the grab. Two down. Now batting. So up Catcher. next for Chicago, Sebi Zavala. Zavala. That misses. One Ball one. And a big swing and a miss. He's been great in this one. Eye-hand coordination just failed him a little bit right there. This to third. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Phillies take this one in a blowout. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. 9 nothing. your final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at